What is going on everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, just so you know, it's been an extremely long time since I last did YouTube videos because I um, had a lot going on in my mind with my physical appearance of which, um, yeah, um, you know, but now I'm back here again after all this time and this time I'm going to be doing something I don't do very often, an unboxing video, one for today and one for tomorrow and today we will be unboxing the God Save the Rave limited edition box released by Scooter as of last Friday in Germany. Now, just so you know, this um, contains a lot of goodies and a lot of music tracks, so I'll be revealing them as soon as we get unboxing. But before I get unboxing, I just want to let you know that there are like nine singles released on that um, album as of so far, and I don't know if they'll do any more on that album. And maybe they'll make way for their next album, the 21st um, album. Also, I'll let you know, God Save Rave is their 20th studio album, and uh, um, I was also going to say that Scooter are also like my favourite music band, and I've been a fan of theirs since 2013. I, once upon a time, saw them in Glasgow back in 2017, just 20 days before my 19th birthday, the 10th of June I went. Um, and I'm due to see them on, in Rock the Park on the 6th of August this year in Wrexham. So, <laughs> it was a very, very pleasant, a very um, shocking surprise to know that because I looked it up on Facebook and that actually hyped me a lot. Um, and as also you can see, I'm wearing the um, God Save the Rave t-shirt which came with um, the LP pre-order of which I'll do the unboxing on tomorrow. But today we're focusing on the um, limited edition box. So as of right now, let's um, not waste any time. Let's get unboxing. So here we are with the um, God Save the Rave limited edition box um, here. We've got the um, stickers, as you can see here, which I'll um, keep for safety because it'd be a shame to throw them out. But what we're going to do, we're going to find the unsealing bit because the unsealing part is the most important. Um, I actually pre-ordered this from Amazon Germany and it actually took um, not too long I don't think. Uh, never mind about that, let's um... There's the box itself, as you can see here we got um, this lovely box of uh, this lovely artwork uh, of which I do like, it's like based on um, Godlike, um, oh, I don't know, like religious. I think I that's how I can address it. And as you can see, the um, all the uh, all the artwork on the sides, which looks really, really really beautiful too. And here we are. We have the um, track list on there, which includes the album CD one has the album itself, and CD two has the I want you to stream live concert, which aired last, uh, which premiered, uh, which went live on YouTube via Scooter's YouTube channel and the Contour TV YouTube channel due to the, um, the, the prior to the um, lockdown due to coronavirus. And uh, they were supposed to be doing the God Save the Rave tour last year, but that had to be um, held back to this year um, due, to, due to COVID. And again to next year, 2022, on the same premises. However, things are getting better with COVID because the vaccine is um, progressing along very well. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up here and as you can see we have some lovely product uh, lovely um goodies here we have ourselves some scooter socks um i'll um might want to go ahead and show that off quickly because um, they're part of the um product itself now i've been told that they are like um large size and i've got a medium medium sized feet so i think i might want to go ahead and try them on later probably on my spare personal time and I think I'll probably go ahead and stick those onto one side. And here we are, we have um, the God Save the Rave um, car fragrance tree. If you want to decorate your car, that is. <laughs> I've seen a video on Facebook where they like decorate your car um, with scooter props. And as you can see, this next thing we got here is the um, car sticker. So you can stick that on your car window, showing that you're a fan of the band. And uh, we've got ourselves a couple of um, a couple of stickers right here. We have the um, sticker. We have one sticker there where it says "God Save the Ray," which resembles the um, album cover itself. And um, we've also got one that says "We Love Hardcore," which is one of the one of the nine singles that was released on the album. 
they Scooter actually teamed up with Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike for that um, song, We Love Hardcore. That was released on uh, the 19th of last month on Spotify and iTunes digital download. It's a real shame they don't do. Um, it's a real shame they don't do physical CD singles anymore. We also have one of the Scooter logo, the Sheffield Tune symbol, um, right there. I believe we've got five stickers. This is the third that we're showing off. And um, we have one of the Scooter logo um, right here. They've been using that since 1999. Their sixth album, Back to the Heavyweight Jam. Because, um, yeah, they thought of a better, better um, logo anyway, because I think it looks great in that font. Crassy um, fonts called, um, by the way. And one more sticker, which one that says, First we save the rave, then we save the world. Uh, which, excuse my language, but it's one of the lyrics for my favourite single of the album, F 2020. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you why it's called that, because 2020 was a really difficult year for all of us prior to this virus. Anyway, uh, now on to the um, album itself God Save the Rave. The new studio album, two CD set, contains CD with extra CD with the live concert. I want you to stream. So, um, what we're gonna do right now, same here again from the box, we're going to unseal this. If I can find any unsealing bits right here. I haven't done unboxing videos in a year, actually. Last time I did it was back around 10 months ago with um, a Super Sentai prop. Oh, I don't know if I can find the um, ceiling end. Please bear with me. I'm having a bit of difficulty finding it. And again, I've got really blunt fingers, so this may also take me a while. So please, please, please bear with me. Oh, hold on. I had to, like, um, get a grip of it like, with my teeth. Hopefully I haven't given it any water damage because that'd be the last thing I would want to happen. Nobody likes water damage on Digipack um, products. I had to replace a now 30 years um, product twice due to that and that was a nightmare. Wasting 10 quid over one thing and that's 30 quid I spent on that. Bad news baby, bad news. Here we are with the album cover. Beautiful Digipack and here we are with the track list again. I'll explain the track list as we go. So we've got some of those I can't even read because they're obviously in a um, different language. Um, Futurum est Nostrum, which is the intro. Second track, God, no, that's the first track. Second track, God Save the Rave. Scooter teamed up with Harrison Ford for this one. Harrison Ford is like a twist on um, Harrison Ford, the actor who's in Indiana Jones since 1981. Um, Never Stop the Show, that's the third track. And yes, Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike teamed up with Scooter for We Love Hardcore. And the fifth track, that's the fourth track. The fifth track here, Scooter teamed up with T Timmy Trumpet with the um, song Paul Is Dead. Sixth track here, Finch Asocial teamed up with Scooter, bass drum. Seven, Which Light Switches Which? Good question, by the way. Um, track eight, again, my favorite single, 2020. And, um,. Track nine, Groundhog Day. That's their latest single. They premiered the um, they premiered the music video for Groundhog Day um, at 11 p.m. just one hour before midnight. That is um, on the 15th. Also, 109 years since the Titanic sunk. Sorry if I'm changing the subject. Let's just get back to this. Hang the DJ. That's the 10th track. Scooter teamed up with Zillions again for Rave Teacher, Somebody Like Me. But it sounds completely different, unlike the single version because the single version was initially released in 2019. This is 2021, and they even did a different version because the one that sound that they did, it was apparently taken from a tour, the um, sounding of that, but it wasn't in a crowd, it was only in the studio, like. Then the next one, Anastasia. This looks a bit Russian, but still, that's um, the 12th track, Anastasia it's pronounced. 13th track, Devil's Symphony. That's the um, last um, single, even though it was the third released in the album. I could tell you the order of it later, or tomorrow. These Days, that's the 14th track, and Wandering Star is the 15th and final track of the um, album itself, and that was a cover from a 1951 song, of which I, oh god, can't remember the um, name of the uh, singer. I'll have a look on Wikipedia later. Now, um, I want you to stream the live concert. We'll explain the tracks of them now. So, we have the first track, the intro, which HP um, actually, um, HP actually, um, introduces the um, show and we have um, 
The second track here, One Always Hardcore, first released in 2004 under their 10th album, Mind the Gap. Um, the third track, The Logical Song, that was released in 2001, the song, but it was released not on an album, but on a compilation album, Push the Beat of This Jam, the second chapter. And you may also be interested to know that it was also a number one all around the world, apparently. Number four, Bora Bora Bora, released in 2017 under Scooter Forever. That, that was released before Scooter Forever, Bora 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 was. That was the first, yeah, that was one of, one of the last two um, CD singles that was released before they stopped completely, I think. My Gabba with Jibroa, they teamed up with Jibroa in 2017. That was on the album Scooter Forever as well. And track six, as I said, God Save the Rave with Harrison Ford. That was released on this album, of which I mentioned earlier. There's track seven, Fire, released in 1997 on the album Age of Love. Here's some trivia for you. The song Fire was released on April Fool's Day of 1997. And that was no April Fool's joke, I'm telling you. Number eight, How Much Is The Fish, released in 1998 under the track No Time To Chill, which opened up the second chapter of Scooter's um, epic music career. And the ninth track, The Age of Love, live version, that was released, that was remixed by Sebastian, the uh, late newest um, member of Scooter. And that's the live version, of course. Age of Love was re initially released in 1997 under the album Age of Love. Funny how they um, used the same name for a song and an album. Track 10, right here, we've got two of them actually. The Millennium, again, excuse my language. The Millennium was released in 1999 under Back to the Heavyweight Jam. And, um,. Um, stroke Call Me Manana. Now, Call Me Manana was released in 1999 under No Time to Chill, but was released in but it was the uh, it sounds different, obviously, because Call Me Manana came around in 1998 on the album, but it was released in 1999 as a single, and by that I mean a year later. 11, J'adore Hardcore, 2009, under the radar over the top. And tw uh, along a stroke, Jumping All Over the World, which was under the album Jumping All Over the World. The album was released in 2007, but the single was released a year later, 2008. Maria, I Like It Loud, which is track 12, released in 2003 um, on the Stadium Techno Experience. And a few months later, um, a lot of he teamed up with Mark Arcada Payne and Dick Rules as a single. Track 13, again, Which Light Switch is Which, which was released on this album. Now, three tracks are on this final album, Endless Summer, Hyper Hyper, and Move Your Ass. The Noise Controller's remix of Move Your Ass was released in 2018 before Christmas during a tour. But however, Endless Summer, Hyper Hyper, and Move Your Ass were all released on their first album, and the beat goes on. Hyper Hyper was released in 1994, whilst Endless Summer and Move Your Ass was re were released in 1995. Now, um, now that I mention all the tracks, I might as well go ahead and um, Show you what's inside the um, inside the case. We have, whoa, glorious. We've got the this glorious looking disc right here, which which also has um, beautiful packaging as well. And you can see the crew: HP, Sebastian, and Michael, Simon, you know, on a frame, which is I guess. And also we've got the "I Want You to Stream" disc here, and they're doing it inside this little. Um, Stadium where there were loads of crowds before COVID came around. Again, with the same thing from the first disc. And here we are, we have the, uh, ooh. A little bit. We have HP's mic. Before I show off the booklet, I might want to show this off. We have the God Save the Rave tour, the arena tour of 2022, which was supposed to be 2021, but COVID kind of stopped it. And we have the merch. We love merch. We've got the free God Save the Rave specific merch here. We love hardcore, the scooter logo, and first we save the rave, then we save the world. Personally, I want to get one of those. <laughs> Stick this back inside there. I'm gonna take a look at the booklet. So you can see we got the God Save the Rave booklet, and we're, and you can see that we got a few lyrics here. I'll zoom in so that I can let you guys see it. You could pause it if you wanted to, so you can read them um, with more time, because I know I'm very quick at things. And there we are, H.P. Baxter, the lead singer of Scooter since they first formed. Some interesting trivia for you. Before Scooter came around, um, the, it was um, Celebrate the Nun that came around in the 80s. One of my favourite songs by Celebrate the Nun is Will You Be There, first released in uh, 1989. 
I'll have you know, on, also in this book, the bass drum lyrics are mostly in German. Some of you may not be able to pronounce it correctly. I mean, uh, might not be able to understand it, right? but you could use Google Translate if you wanted to. Ah, yes, we have a little cow here that says Scooter, which is in reference to the 2007 single, Behind the Cow. As you can tell by the um, artwork, I might actually show that off one day. Michael Simon. Honestly, I really love this, um, I really love this artwork. It's so beautiful. And we have this um, amazing little picture that they can make here. That they've made here. I'm guessing the people did a did a fantastic job at this. And here we are. Um, lyrics for two. Again, you can pause some of those if you want in the middle of this video, and you so you can read the lyrics. Here we are, Sebastian, the latest um, member. I don't know his surname because I probably won't be able to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> Megaphone. You know, I wish I actually had one of those. Don't mind a picture. It's only a, it's only a drawing. Just ignore what's uh, what's said on uh, what's um, seen on it. Even though some of you may be used to it anyway. <laughs> HP no diggity diggity H. And um, I quite like that name too. Here we are, Scooter with HP on the throne and Michael and Sebastian on next one. Oh, Sebastian. Shall I? Scheidel, uh, sh uh, sorry, Sebastian Schleid, I think it is. I'll have to um, work on that. And there we are, guys. That completes the um, that completes the unboxing for the um, God Save the Rave um, CD. And there you have it, guys. That's um, the box set for God Save the Rave. So. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you'll be around tomorrow for the LP unboxing for that album. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, comment and subscribe for some more awesome content coming your way. And again, as I say, make sure you tune in tomorrow for the um, unboxing for the LP version of God Save the Rave, which I'm really looking forward to doing. So yeah, till then, stay cool and um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.